My name is Julie Boyd and this tutorial shows you how to use an e-textile cell holder that has an integrated light sensor. The appearance of the cell holder is very similar to a switch cell holder, the difference being that on the back of the cell holder there is a small light sensor. Here the light sensor is on this backing fabric um, so the LED is in position, if I just shade it you can sort of see the green um, LED shining there. Um, I can switch that off permanently so this little switch on the side there so that would stop my battery from wearing down if it was for example uh, the product that this was in was inside a bag um, if I just switch that back on again um, when we move the um, uh, fabric away from the backing fabric the light sensor is able to detect light um, and the LED goes off so if I just put that back flat on the fabric and you will need to make sure it is very flat so that no light comes through again you can see the, um, the LEDs back in position just under my shaded hand there the first step is to cut a hole in your um, fabric where your light sensor can poke through obviously if you have a fraying fabric you'll need to think about um, how that might be neatened with a buttonhole um, um, or perhaps a, a metal eyelet or, or something similar. I'm just doing some over sewing stitches to hold the negative side of the cell holder in position so just notice that the um, the centre is poking through the hole. I can start by stitching the LEDs or the cell holder but as this um, has to be in a particular position because of the hole um, I, I've chosen to start with the cell holder. Um, I'm going to stitch down to where my LED is going to be positioned so I'm just going to do some running stitches to get down to that position and then when I get there I'm going to attach my LED into position again using my over sewn stitches um, the same as before so my circuit is now complete and I've stitched the positive side of the cell holder to the positive side of the LED so I can now just pop the um, cell into position so if I just shade it there you can see the um, LED has come on um, and that's because the on switch is already switched on if I just switch that off that will switch it off switch back on again um, and again we can see that um, when the um, light the sensor is covered um, the LED switches off. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to receive new tutorials as they are uploaded. Visit the website julieboy.co.uk for all things DT, especially textiles, and that includes free resources, a weekly DT newsletter and course information.